Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I'm going to review the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0. If you guys don't know what is this, this is actually a wrist press from a company called Delta Hub. They actually helps to engineer a, this kind of wrist press for your mouse. You know, now it's COVID-19 situation. In Singapore, most of the workplace is working from home, including me. I'm interning now, so I most of the time work from home and I need to sit down in front of a computer at least 7 hours in a day. So buying this wrist press for your mouse might be helpful to reduce the chances of me developing something called carpal tunnel syndrome. But this one is kind of expensive which cost me about 47 SGD or if you buy from the official website itself, it is around 30 euros. So is this worth the price or is this gonna be so comfortable for my wrist? to use my mouse daily so let's find out together all right unboxing time the wrist rest comes in this rectangle box it shows that i have the black color version but actually inside is the white color version to open the box is very simple you just need to pull the strap look at that the mechanism of this box is just amazing when you pull the strap it shows you the Capio 2.0 as well as the barcode to show you guys how to use the Capio 2.0 and actually tell you that the adjustment period is about 1 to 2 weeks okay in the box we are greeted by the Capio 2.0 itself I choose the large white color variant because it looks nice and all my setup is either in white or grey and my mouse is actually is this one the Logitech MX Master 3 and I also have my gaming mouse, which is the Logitech Super Light. So the white color looks very nice for my mouse. Alright, so after the Capio 2.0, literally give this uh, carrier if you want to bring your Capio 2.0 to workplace or to your school. And finally, they give us a sticker. I'm not really sure what is this sticker for but I mean for those people who likes to collect stickers from unboxing experience this is gonna be a plus for you guys and underneath everything inside the box actually there's a message from the Delta Hub itself so you guys can read it if you guys got the free time to do so yeah I think that's all in the box alright let's talk about the build quality the wrist rest looks very premium the top part made from some kind of elastic material and also rubbery material that is actually hard enough to support the bottom of our palm and is soft enough to be comfortable as well the thumb side of the Capio is actually harder and thicker than the right side maybe from what they search is that our palm the thumb side is actually need more support than the left side maybe that's why they decide to this kind of design overall I really like the build quality of this uh, Capio 2.0 wrist rest for $47 they actually built a $47 wrist press. I feel like this Capio 2.0 really helps to redistribute the pressure from our wrist to the bottom of our palm after one week of using it I actually kind of like Capio 2.0 I feel there is something missing when I don't use the Capio 2.0 and especially this mouse, the MX Master 3 is rather large for my hands so when I normally use it, my wrist actually a bit tilted up and for those people who actually games the Capio 2.0, I know it adds more weight but it helped me to flick easier because normally when I flick my wrist actually prevent me from flicking because the friction from our wrist or our palm actually much higher compared to the Capio 2.0 so overall I really like this Capio 2.0 I really cannot use my mouse anymore without this Capio 2.0 because the ergonomic of this wrist press is just perfect alright so let's talk about the cons of this Capio 2.0 so the first con that I can think of is that the price you know the price is 47 SGD you can actually get those like you know the mushy mushy kind of a wrist rest for your mouse with the mouse pad for I think under 10 dollars 
but this one costs like almost five times of the price so is it worth it actually for me i kind of feel like it's kind of worth because you know when you are using the gel kind of a uh, mouse pad they got the wrist rest you actually cannot move the wrist rest together with your mouse in this case you can and the data hub themselves actually think a way how to actually uh, design this so that it's ergonomic to our palm and relieve the pressure from our wrist to the bottom of our palm then the second con that i can think of is that you need adjustment time according to the data hub itself is that you actually need about two weeks to actually adjust how to use this carpio 2.0 in my case i took about one week the first day that i use it i feel very weird like it feels very uncomfortable to be honest like the shape it doesn't feel like the palm shape of my palm but after using it for a while like about one week i actually knows how to use it like now without this i actually can't really use my mouse i feel it's weird and there's something missing and i actually can feel the pressure at the bottom of my wrist there when i don't use this carpio 2.0 so it means that this carpio 2.0 actually helps me a lot especially now uh, covid 19 situation that i need to use computers for about seven days a day okay so what's the last con the last con is that you know this thing doesn't work well with your keyboard why is that you know when you are in the middle of using your mouse then you need to type something on your keyboard you actually need to remove your palm from this carpio 2.0 to use the keyboard then when you actually finish using your keyboard you actually need to put back your palm to this carpio 2.0 to use your mouse but what's the problem the problem is that when you are actually putting your palm every time you want to put your palm back to the scapio 2.0 you need to readjust it it is not as easy as not using this you know when you are using your keyboard then you immediately use your mouse you actually don't need to readjust the position of your right hand at all but with this carpio 2.0 you actually need to find the perfect position for this carpio 2.0 to the bottom of the palm okay so what's the conclusion of this carpio 2.0 is it worth the price to be honest it depends if you are working from home or studying from home and every day you are using your computer for seven hours a day or even more then this one is gonna be useful because for 47 dollar you can actually reduce the chance of you getting the carpal tunnel syndrome which you can't really cure it when you have it so by spending 47 sgd or 30 euros it's actually kind of worth but if you are someone that hardly ever use your mouse then you shouldn't buy this carpio 2.0 because it's very expensive or if you are someone that use trackpad instead of a mouse then you shouldn't get a carpio 2.0 as well and then just now in the cons i got say that when you use the carpio 2.0 it's actually kind of troublesome to use it with a keyboard so what will i do i actually gonna buy the carpio 2.0 again but the left side instead of the right side so what i can do is that instead of using this i can actually use two of these to help me with my wrist rest problem i know i know meaning i will spend almost 100 sgd just for a wrist rest but i feel like it's kind of worth especially like knowing that there's something called tunnel couple syndrome so 47 dollars times two if i can reduce the chance of me getting that i don't mind spending it especially now wow seven hours a day in a computer yeah so that's all for my conclusion if you like this kind of review again please leave a like and if you want to know more about me or future reviews as well do subscribe and if you think that you prefer this kind of review videos let me know down in the comment below so that I know what to make in the future videos. Thank you and bye bye.